Well, hello everyone, I'm back. The new proud American conservative with more important news not too many of you can stomach. So Kamala Harris was talking about the Knights of Columbus, how they shouldn't be allowed to run for office because they are far right, um, dangerous organization. So if you are a member or if you were a member, you should not be allowed to run for office. This is gonna uh, change uh, pretty quickly here to far more extreme rules, especially if the Democrats win. We know Kamala is gonna be running the show, not Biden. Uh, it's gonna turn out to be, if you're Christian, you will not uh, be able to have your kids go to school or, you know, being fired. Can't get a job at Coca-Cola company because you're Christian. Can't get a job at Goodyear. Cannot get a job here because you are far extreme, far right activists who believes in pro-life. So, and you like to, uh, you know, cook pancakes after mass and sell insurances. You are a danger to society. It's not uh, what's going on right now all over Portland, Baltimore, Chicago. We don't want to get into that, but the Knights of the Columbus are dangerous. Watch out. How crazy, right? So, to me, this is, like I said, beyond disturbing. This is adding more fuel to the fire when it comes to jobs. As government reported, uh, over a million jobless claims for weekly, for last week. And when they say 1.2 million, you can add at least 20, 30% on that. So let's just round it to one and a half million jobs times four weeks in a month. You get six million jobs gone. This is not just some bombshell. We already, you know, had 22 consecutive weeks on a jobless weekly claims that were going on. So my goal here is to, to, to keep staying awake, to continue preparing, not to be complacent that we are in a V-shaped, a booming economy. Uh, Everything is going to be fine. I'm just trying to claw my way to the upper, upper middle class so I don't completely get cleaned out when this whole uh, mess takes place the social tsunami social unrest tsunami and financial tsunami if you think you've seen a big sell-off in march of 30 percent or so just wait what happens and if it doesn't happen like that it's going to be hyperinflation so you see your 401k go up but it does not go up as fast as the dollar meaning your purchasing power is going down so i'm trying to get in the market uh get in get out when it comes to um let's say energy sector right now i have another position in ampy amplify i talked about it for three months i could not get it in the low one dollar that um i've been looking for and now it's finally here so i bought in at the dollar and five dollar and five cents and i will be selling when it hits to let's say 130 150 hopefully more than that and that could already happen by the end of the day today or monday so so we'll see this is the low so 52 week low for ampy was around 50 cents okay and the high was way higher than that i will write every single detail down so you guys can see if you don't uh, do your own research which you should obviously but that's why i like this play because it's close to the 52 week low and it did really good from the low one dollar so this is going to be my big play right now and when it comes to mining sector which i love as you guys know that follow me uh, precious metals are in a bull market and every bull market has five or ten percent sell-offs okay in the bear market you have a lot of money going in it's kind of like grasping for air let's let's you know squeeze as much sheep pull in as we can before the big money pulls the plug on you right so you see a lot of big run-ups like what's happening with tesla right now not saying it's not going to go to 2500 before they pull the plug on you or 3000 i don't know that but it can happen right now so that's why i'm staying away from that sector uh, i i just uh, prefer true bull markets which we entered about a year and a half ago in precious metals so silver crest is my pick for explorers when it comes to mining and corvus gold i will write every detail down so you guys like i said do your own research on them i will be buying dips in these five percent ten percent hoping 
it's going to be a bigger sell-off soon I will add more and I will not touch them for a while and when I do I will let you know so cut the long story short recoup I got a position amplify AMPY at dollar five when it comes to mining sector Silvercrest is my big play and a couple other ones I will write everything detailed let me know what you guys think. God bless you all and uh, good luck.